The Homeland Security Secretary was grilled on Capitol Hill today. This comes a day after a federal judge blocked the Biden administration's new asylum policy. Gabe Gutierrez spoke to border officials. None of the passengers on this plane want to be here. It's called ICE Air, and those on board are being deported. Right now, more than 100 migrants are being loaded from these buses onto this plane. They're bound for Honduras. Since mid-May, the Department of Homeland Security says it's repatriated 85,000 people. That's up 65 percent compared to the same period last year. The department is uh, sending a clear message about the consequences of coming in the United States seeking asylum improperly. NBC News also getting rare access to this processing center in Hidalgo, Texas. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. But this week, Thank Homeland Mr. Security Chairman. Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas was grilled on Capitol Hill. You're the most dishonest witness that has ever appeared before the Judiciary Committee. You should be impeached. The administration touting a 42 percent drop in illegal crossing since the pandemic border restriction known as Title 42 was lifted in May. Our approach of expanding lawful pathways for people to uh, reach the border and delivering consequences for those who arrive at our border irregularly is working. Mallorca says the process is more orderly, but the drop in the illegal border crossings does not mean there's been a big decline in migrants coming into the U.S. Multiple law enforcement sources tell NBC News the numbers are still high, with Republicans now blasting the Biden administration for creating a new legal channel, releasing tens of thousands of migrants each month into the U.S. who use a new mobile app to schedule their screening appointments. You've got the turnstile open? Or so long as they've gone and downloaded this app, you just let them in. In Matamoros, Mexico, we found a tent camp with more than a thousand migrants, many telling us they're still waiting for months to make an appointment on the app, often getting error messages. This man from Venezuela, with severe pains in his leg, rushed to an ambulance after collapsing in the sweltering heat. Many women and children in this camp need help, he begged. Gabe Gutierrez also reports that a federal judge blocked the Biden administration's new policy limiting who can apply for asylum.